Alright, what's going on YouTube? This is DJ Valence here with a tutorial for you showing you how to replace your RCA cables in your Technix 1200 turntable. Uh, on the table in front of you, you'll see the tools that you're going to need to do this. Um, the first one on the right here, obviously, is your uh, Phillips screwdriver. You can use a handheld if you want to, but there are a lot of screws you got to get through, uh, and that is a going to be a pain for you if you use a handheld, so that's why I have this one. Also, you need a soldering iron, a uh, fancy holder you don't really need as long as you have something to put it on, and then, of course, your RCA cables. Uh, these were purchased from Technics1200s.com. I don't know if you can see that on there. Uh, and just a little plug for them. Anytime I've had an issue after buying one of their products, uh, I have called this number here, and Chris has been very helpful. Um, so make sure that uh, if you do get your product here, which I would recommend, uh, if you have any issues, give Chris a call, or if you need any questions or whatever, he will answer them. He's helped me out before. Uh, he'll spend as much time as you need on the phone. Anyway, enough about that. We're going to go ahead and get into the actual install of the cables. I'm going to show you how to get it done, and uh, you should be good to go after that. So let's get started. Okay, guys, today we're going to be working on a Technics 1200 Mark V turntable. Um, I've done these installs before on Mark II's as well, and I know they work on M3D's. I think the install may be a little bit different on them, but basically the gist is the same. So uh, feel free to do it on any model of your 1200. Um, one of the things you want to do is you make sure, obviously, the record's gone, slip mat's gone. I've gone ahead and taken the needle uh, and uh, head shell off. And then you want to make sure that the tone arm is, is fastened here so it doesn't move around while you're doing this. And then you just want to take your platter off. I like to stick my thumbs in there, just pull up. Usually comes off pretty easily. And that part is done. And now what we'll do is go ahead and turn it over. Okay, so at this point I'm ready to go ahead and turn it over. And the way that I do this is I will take an old dust cover, just like this one here. As you can see, it's got a big crack right here. So it's not doing me much good, but uh, it'll do just fine for this. What I'll do is just simply put it on there, turn it over carefully, make sure it's lined up the best it can be, and that will give me access to the bottom of the turntable. Now what I'm going to do here is go ahead and turn it like this, because I'm going to need access here. This is where most of our work is going to be done. So we want to make sure that's close uh, and handy for me. Uh, for the camera, I'll actually probably go ahead and turn it around here just so I can make sure to give you guys the right angle. But you want to be close to this right here. That's where the action is. Okay, we've got it turned over now, and we're ready to go ahead and start uh, getting into the actual turntable itself. So what we're going to do first is kind of move these wires out of the way. And let's get our feet off of the turntable. Now all they re require is a counterclockwise turn you can unscrew those very easy to get these off there is a screw underneath each of these so four extra screws that don't show uh, when you're actually getting into it as far as screws go too you're gonna want a bowl or something to put those in to keep track of them I forgot to mention that in the beginning uh, and now basically what we do is just go through the back and unscrew every single screw uh, on the unit Okay guys, so I've taken out all the screws out of the back. Now the fun part uh, is coming up. We're going to go ahead and just lift this rubber piece off of the bottom. That's all it is. It's just a, a rubber plate. Take the cords out. And we're left with that view. And now what we're going to do, kind of like we talked about earlier, is work on this area right in here. And we're going to change those RCAs out. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do here is go ahead and remove these two screws. Take this out of here. Then remove the two screws on the metal plate. We'll 
go ahead, this right here comes off, just snaps off. It's got a little tab here that you can pull up on to get it off of there. It just holds that cord in place. Then what we want to do is go ahead and pull this off. Pull the RCAs through. Kind of blurry there, but you you know what I'm doing. We've got that metal plate right here. And now, as you'll see, we've exposed that board that we're going to be working on. Right in there. All right, guys, we've reached the home stretch uh, on this RCA install. As you can see, you've got the board a little bit closer, uh, closer up now. One of the things that you'll want to do is write down the order of these wires. Uh, from left to right, in this model, they go blue, white, red, brown, and black. That'll also be down there in the description. Hey, like this video if it's helpful. Also, subscribe to the channel if you want more. So I'm going to go ahead and get it, get on into it. The first thing I want to do, uh, I've already got my soldering iron heated up, is I just want to go ahead and remove these wires right here. Just heat that uh, solder up just a little bit. And then pull those wires right off of there. Be gentle with them, of course. You don't want to break them because you're going to need them. that one and here's the red one coming out yeah. I can get my screwdriver here to help me pull them off of there and like I said earlier this does work for other 1200s I believe the colors are different in the Mark II's, but as long as you remember where to put them back, it shouldn't matter for you. So there's that. Got our wires off of there. What you want to do now is take these two screws right here and just take them out. The one on the right is longer. short you want to remember that when you put them back now what you want to do is take this off and this has got another wire on it now that is how your turntable is grounded so what you want to do is simply snip the ground wire I didn't put this tool in the uh, beginning of the video either, I apologize, but you will need something to cut this wire off with, a pair of scissors, anything will help. And now our original board is completely off of the turntable. No need for those RCAs anymore. And we're ready to install the new ones. So the first thing you're going to do on the new one is take this wire and put it right back where it was. Remember the long screw on the right. Go ahead and come down on there with the new board. Screw it in a little bit. And go ahead and screw it on in there. Make sure your 
five wires are out of the way before you get too deep into it. You don't want them to get screwed into something. Okay, that part is done. And now, I'm going to solder these wires back on one at a time. It'll go from left to right or whatever feels most comfortable for you. It really doesn't matter. The point is, is that you get them on there and you get them on there clean. So here we go. I'm just going to heat this up a little bit. Put the wire. You don't need much to get that wire in there. And once again, uh, thanks to Chris from Technics1200s.com uh, for making this so easy and leaving that solder already on there. You don't even need solder. Just uh, heat the solder up on the board that he's already got there and you are good to go. I mean it's pretty pretty darn simple. He's made it that way for you. So once again thanks to him. I'm going to go ahead and get this red one. It looks like it's going to be a little bit simpler and once you get them stuck, you can move on. I may use my screwdriver here. I think this would be easier if it wasn't on camera, but it kind of defeats the purpose. So let's get, uh, let's try the black one here. Heat up that solder joint. There we go. And we'll go for brown since that was so easy. Maybe we'll just go from that side. Let's get that on there. And again, guys, take your time. No rush on that. That was not the prettiest, but it's going to work. Our last little brown one here. I'm going to get close in here and inspect them. And they all look to be uh, on there pretty good. Maybe just a couple little nitpicky things here on my joints, but other than that, they look pretty good. And we are ready to go ahead and reassemble the turntable. Now when I've reassembled mine, it really hasn't been that important to me to put this clip back uh, on the turntable. I usually leave that off. What I'll do is I'll just sit, uh, stick these 
RCAs back through here. Let me back out a little bit for you. Stick the RCAs just right back up through here. Um, you can bend the tab or you can just force it through, whatever you feel like doing. Um, you might get a little bit of a scratch mark on your adjuster down here, which I'm cool with. If you're not, then go ahead and bend that tab over and do it correctly. But I just take this, kind of shove it through if I can. So it's all the way through. Again, it leaves a few little scratch marks, but my turntables get a lot of use anyway, so I'm cool with that. And then what we'll do, just go ahead and secure the table. secure the metal piece I'm sorry put your little screws in here Okay, now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get my rubber cover. <laughs> Don't put it on without sticking your cords through the holes. It'll make you mad if you do. Don't stick them through the wrong holes either. down again and now it is just a matter of taking these screws putting them back where they belong okay it is out with the old in with the new the turntable is put back together just like we took it apart we've got our new cables in the turntables once again Technics 1200s uh, dot com. Turn it over. And it should be good to go. Once again, thank you for watching the video. Um, thank you for checking it out. I hope it worked for you. Hope your turntables are going good. Uh, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up down below. Leave your comments. If you've got any other uh, tutorials out there you want people to see, leave those down there too. Uh, let's get, get the word out, help people out. And uh, if you like my channel, please subscribe. There, there will be more videos, special guests, all kinds of cool things. So again, thank you for watching, and I will uh, see you next time.